Hello viewers, this is The Real Inferno, and I've always wanted to do a Let's Play, and after Inferno Omni decided to do one, I thought, you know what, why not play the Lone Ranger? So let's play the Lone Ranger! A fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high -o silver! With his faithful Indian companion Tonto, the daring and resourceful masked rider of the plains led the fight for law and order in the early west. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear, the Lone Ranger rides again! That's my, um, my old-timey announcer voice. I'm never doing it again. This is actually really good graphics for the NES, um, it's pretty amazing actually. They're really proud of that voice acting. Prepare to see that every level. So let's get started. Um, I'm going to be using the controller. There was a zapper function for this game, but uh, I'm playing the game on my computer, even though I do own a copy of it, but I don't have a way to capture it off my TV. I love this music. This is one of the Lost NES classics right here, this song. It never plays again in the game, but it's the best song in the entire game, so it's all downhill from here! Apparently, the outlaw Butch Cavendish was able to kill every single Texas Ranger, and uh, no one's figured out who the Lone Ranger is yet, even though he's the only one alive. It makes perfect sense. This is the overworld, and this is Tonto, who talks really slowly, but you can speed up his text sometimes. Um, for some reason, we look like um, a Mexican man wearing a sombrero here. Uh, let's go in the town. We gotta find our horse. Uh, this is the basic overworld view. You can uh, punch. Um, you can use different types of bullets to shoot. And you can talk to people. Or punch them in the face. How am I? I'm feeling like PUNCH! Yeah! It's like the original version of Gun. You just run around and murder everybody in town. Get all that pinup aggression out. Yeah! Kill them all! And where's somebody else? Ah, here we go. Yeah, take that! Oh. Uh oh. Well, shit. Well, that's it for Let's Play the Lone Ranger. Hope you enjoyed it! And we're back. Okay, so as you can tell, if you punch these ladies, you lose four health. Um, I don't... The mechanics really only in there for one boss fight, so we're gonna just ignore them and beat the holy shit out of this guy. Ah, I feel the power of the god hand! Ugh... <sighs> This is the doctor's office, uh, for $50 he fully heals you, and this is where you buy all your guns. Uh, we're not gonna buy anything, cause we don't need to for this level, we're just gonna make money. I'm probably gonna do some, um, off-screen money farming, I just got knifed in the face! Lone Ranger takes it like a man. I'm gonna probably do some off-screen money farming so that I can get enough money to... Uh, buy all the bullets I need for the rest of the game. Ugh, I didn't realize that guy was gonna shoot me. Uh, you can usually tell what people are gonna do in this game by how they look, and the point of this part of the mission is to find somebody in town who will tell you where your horse Silver is. I don't know why the Lone Ranger doesn't have the horse yet. Um, according to the beginning of the game, we're starting from the beginning of this story, I guess. Uh, supposedly the horse was seen in town. Um, and this guy tells you, of course, that somebody here has seen the horse, but <laughs> apparently he didn't, but he knows their story. He just doesn't feel like telling us himself, because he's an asshole. This is the lady you gotta talk to. Are you looking for a white horse? He was seen near our town, but now he's gone to the other side of the river. So, basically, what this section of the game is, is a series of fetch quests. You go from uh, section to section and do what the people who are there ask you to do. So here's the horse. 
if you try to go here before silver's not here and you just wasted your time. Uh, you can actually cancel that cutscene for some reason, um, but not until he gets to that third line. I don't know why. <laughs> the game has a few glitches in it for no reason. Um, this is the only black guy in the entire game. Uh, he asks if you. Whenever anyone asks you this question, that means uh, they probably have something important to say, but they don't always say something important unless you've done another mission first. In order to keep the outlaws out of this area, I don't any let anyone cross the bridge. If you want to cross this lever, get. You know what? I can't talk. Fuck it. Leaving. So he told me I gotta go see the sheriff. This part of the game is really kind of boring. Um, it's really just to teach you the basic controls of the game, but for some reason, uh, they don't introduce one of the game mechanics until the second level. Um, uh, I don't really have to fight this guy, but I'm gonna beat him up anyway. Takes three hits to kill these people. Um, what's really funny is these chicks also take, if you can hit them, three hits. See, she survived too, so, uh, the fancy dressed women are as strong as the outlaws in this town, which makes this sheriff look like a complete pussy. Yes. You need a letter? Sure, but let me tell you something first. How about you shut the fuck up? We have too many outlaws around here. Go find them. Their hideout is in the West Craggy Mountain. So you see, this guy's job is to catch outlaws. And now I'm doing his job. I'm, I'm not even a law officer, keep that in mind. Oh, also you can uh, walk moonwalk. Ruby. Okay, the, this guy, um, these other guys that look like they're wearing sombreros are, um, random encounters. There are three of them. Basically, they're there for, you have to fight one of them to get to the, uh, to get to the West Craggy Mountain. That location doesn't light up until the sheriff tells you to go there. Um, I always go to this one because you can just walk right through it. There's no reason to fight these guys, they all have guns and they're just there to waste your bullets. Um, the, this is basically the first time you need to use bullets in the game, and you can see now we're in a side-scrolling section. This is the Wolf Clone Ranger's manly jump. He uh, crouches to jump in the air, as most normal people do, clearly. Oh, yeah, that guy doesn't shoot me. Whoops. Anyway. You can drop through platforms, you can jump up through platforms. This game starts to get some really crappy uh, jumping requirements as it goes on. Um, there's a really dumb jump coming up, hopefully I don't have to do it 20 times, or you're going to be sitting here and watch me fail at Lone Ranger instead of actually play it. Uh, another thing is um, the reload system in this game. If you need to switch from regular bullets to silver bullets, you have to use up your round of regular bullets first, um, and vice versa. So, if you really need to use silver bullets, um, you need to fire off the remaining shots and then reload your gun. And here's this jump. This jump right here, as you can see, is not the easiest jump in the world. Oh, I made it. Oh, good. You don't have to see me suck. I can look like not an idiot. I'm already doing the Inferno Om better than Inferno Omni did on his game. Except I'm getting completely raped by this guy's balls there. <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay. Um, spectacular. I'm the best law fighter ever. By law fighter, I mean gunfighter. Oh. Yeah, so I see I just reloaded the full clip. I have to waste it now because I need silver bullets for this section. This is the boss, and if he hits me, I'm going to die. So I'm going to try and get right up on him and abuse something. And it didn't work. Fantastic. <sighs> Uno momento. And we're back. Okay. Uh, this time with less failure! Yay! Glitches! Uh, yeah, most of the bosses in this game, um, the only way to beat them is to get them stuck in a loop where they just can't attack you at all. Great programming! 
Um, anyway, now that we've beaten the one fat guy, all of the out other outlaws are completely frightened of our manly presence and our big sombrero and have run off. So we gotta go get that letter from the sheriff. Oh, except this jackass. He's still here. Just to piss me off. As you can see though, the silver bolts shoot through enemies and they drop all enemies in one hit unless they're a boss. Blah, 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 letter, letter, yes, yes. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give and this level is over. Well, pretty much over. I gotta go get my horse. Which, um, actually does absolutely nothing. I walk just as fast as I ride the horse. In fact, I think I walk a little faster. Uh, there really needs to be a run function. But at least there's a groove function. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we'll never see you again. Okay, he's lowered the bridge, so now we can leave. Um, you can't speed up this text, and it's incredibly slow. Um, you're forced to just basically sit here and watch this. Now your adventurous journey will begin. That was just the prologue and waste of your time. Thanks. This plays after every level because they were very proud that they ever made it. Um, Tonto gives you a password. Um, I was playing this game and I noticed something about it. That in the original radio drama, Tonto always went into town and got his ass kicked, and then the Lone Ranger went and rescued him. In this game, Tonto sends you into town, and you get your ass kicked. This game should be called The Lone Ranger Tonto's Revenge. Okay, how much time do I got left here? Um, I got enough to introduce you to this guy, but I'm not going to, so we'll wait for him till next time. 